Hey guys, NS Productions 8104 here, and today I have a very special episode for you today. So, I go to a train club called the Lakeshore Model Railway Association, and we meet on Tuesday nights. And today is Monday, January 27th, 2020. And I have been fixing up a locomotive for them, which is a beauty. And somewhat recognizable for this channel. It was the first video I've ever posted on my channel. But here it is. This, my friends, is not or any ordinary K4. This is an NTH Pennsylvania K4 Pacific steam locomotive. But it is not equipped with the proprietary DC, DCS system. This has been equipped. I've looked inside the tender. This is equipped with a uh, TS, TCS Wow Sound Decoder with a Keep Alive. So you may notice that there's a harness between the tender and the locomotive. But let me tell you, this thing is a beauty. I wish I could have something like this in my collection. So we're going to start off with some of the most basic details you can see here. Uh, it might be a little dark. Hold on, let me see if I can get a light source in here. Uh, here we go. Okay. Hold on. Get myself a pair of tweezers. Fair pointing. So, let's start here on the front pilot. So, we have an op operating metal knuckle coupler here. It's a McHenry. For some reason, it's been equipped with a McHenry coupler. Beautiful detail down here on the pilot. You got separately applied MU hoses here. Legible printing here. Hold on. My camera's not focusing. Come on, camera focused. Hold on. I got another light source. Ah, that's better. Okay. Anyway, back to the engine. Ah, perfect. So, MU cables here. Uh, air hose is here since this thing doesn't have an MU cable. But, you got legible writing here, here. The beautiful keystone plate. And I don't know if you guys can read that number, but it is none other than 1361. One of two surviving K4s, which is going underneath slow restoration right now, as many of us know in the train community. You might notice that there is some, there's that platform missing here. That's just how it was donated to the uh, association. So that's what it is. You got a nice, uh, I think that might be the Dynamo. I think that's the Dynamo. Tell me in the comment section below for you Pensy, uh, you Pensy fans. But I think that's the dynamo. You got the gorgeous headlight here, which is, by the way, an LED. Separately applying handrail. Two of them right here. You got another one right off the side. You guys can see right here. So let's go off to the engineer side of the locomotive. This thing's a beauty. There's wonderful detail. You can see the individual rivets on the side of the engine. The separately applied handrail here. More piping here. Looks like you got a... Looks like a some sort of tank. I'm guessing an air reservoir tank. Beautiful drivetrain. And a nice metalish finish on it. Oh yeah, look at the underside detail. They even got detail down there. Yeah, you can see the PS2 passenger thing right there. Anyway, tipping it back over. You got separately applied sanding lines right here. Oh, and listen to this. Metal chat, metal construction. This entire K4 is metal construction right here. We got a nice brat metal swinging bell here. Nice sand dome here. Nice steam dome. Nice metal whistle. Another separately applied part here. It looks like the whistle valve. Safety valves here, which have been painted and looks very nice. I don't think this thing has a smoke unit. I'll have to, I gotta get in here and fill it up anyway. Coming back to the side of the here, you got nicely separately applied piping here coming down the run, running down the side of the engine. We come along to the cab. Beautiful, gorgeous red windows on the side. There is no drop plate. I'm thinking about adding one. Coming back up to the roof has a working roof vent. So, this thing is literally jam-packed with details. Uh, 
Okay, so let's go on the conductor side. I disconnected the tender so we can see you in the back of the cab. Beautiful handrails here. There's your standard NTH system, how they communicate. But since this is equipped with the... This is how the previous owner installed it. You can see there's cab figures. We're on the conductor side now. Again, wonderful piping and detailing all along the side. You get your air compressor here. Another looks like air reservoir tank. Beautiful running gear. Runs like a charm. Come back along the side. Legible builder's plate here. On, exactly on the other side as well. So that's the locomotive. I'll set that off to the side. This is the tender. And, again, all metal construction. So beautiful printed Pennsylvania Railroad logo right there. Gorgeous. Very nice coal load on the top. Simply applied hatch. It almost looked like it was openable, but it's not. Working rear light right there. Wonderfully, wonderful amount of detail. Working, there's a working uncoupling lever. Got another McHenry coupled here, coupler here. Piping and all that underneath on the side. Come on along here. Get your standard Pennsylvania logo underneath. Gorgeous water scoop here. Again, there's that PS2. Error, some tanks, beautiful trucks. Very free rolling. So, that's uh, basically it for the details of this beautiful locomotive. Uh, so, why don't we put her up? Why don't we do a side? Uh, why don't we do a head-on comparison? Hold on. Head-on, head-on comparison. So uh, here on the left we have the Bachman Spectrum K4, which is my personal one. It's been through the runner. SNT Mainline, if you are watching this, what happened in what the email you sent me is what happened to the wheels in this K4. That's why it was down for so long. Um, I found a way on how to fix this without it having any issues. So if you want to send me your daylight, I can fix this and make it run like new. I can fix all the problems with it. I can get you... Basically, the only thing you'll have to pay is the shipping to here. And I'll pay for it to ship back to your home in Canada. I live here in the glorious USA. Not saying Canada or the United States is any better than any other one. Both are very good countries. Both with their similarities and differences. But anyway, as you guys can see, I'm missing the bell on mine. Whistle's gone. Safety valves are still there. That's amazing. Looks like one's losing its paint. Yep. Heck. Oh, okay. But anyway, these things are glorious. Beautiful head on, head on. The couplers are actually at the same height. I mean. But we obviously have a winner here. Considering the fact this is DCC sound, this is just DC. Because, you know, this freaking hookup. Bachman, FYI, make a better connection. Something like this is amazing. This sucks. Anyway, so why don't we take off this guy? Right now I have this on DC. So we'll set this guy. Let's set you here and we'll take a operation here of. So as immediate as soon as you apply track fire with the uh, TCS Wow, as Im immediately you can see the headlight on bright. Why don't we turn it off so we can see? Here's the bell. Standard Pensy bell. Here's your K4 whistle. This is at speed step 5. This thing is amazing at slow speed. I mean, like, ridiculously good at slow speed. And the previous owner has it set up so where every time you stop the engine, it blows once. You move it forward, blows the whistle twice. If you put it in reverse, it blows it three times. So. So let me show you. This is what I mean by it has to keep alive. 
MTH could never design anything like this. That's how I knew the first time I got my hands on this engine to fix it up at the club I was running it that night because they didn't seem, for some reason they thought it was still a DCS equipped engine. But almost immediately I noticed that it's not a standard DCS, especially when I removed the tender from the locomotive. Because, like I said, it has normally that tender connection right there. But, for some reason, this one had a tether. So I'm like, okay, maybe the that connection wasn't doing so well, so someone rigged that up. But, I knew for a fact it wasn't equipped with DCS when I picked it off the rails and discovered it had a keep alive. And I knew immediately something else was equipped in this. And I tore into it. It is a TCS wild sound decoder. I forget the specific, but it's like a 101. Anyway, so, yeah, you can see the tender light. It's very nice and bright LED. Um, let me just say, that thing can pull. Yeah, how do you like... I bought some trees for the... Start meeting up the layout. This thing is a pull. Holy moly. I don't... This thing can probably pull more than... Uh, diesel can, especially that Athens Genesis XT60E. This is at speed set five. This thing's amazing at slow speed. It's like ridiculously awesome. Let's just make sure we're gonna connect. So why don't we see this thing run with a freight train? Hold on. There we go. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is at speed step 15. This guy is like... Oh, sorry. That's a bad section of the track. i got to work on it. So. But the keep alive is amazing. And any... If there's any Notebook Subbing fans out there, I don't know if you guys have subscribed to Athens Trains on YouTube, but they just announced that they're releasing a SD80 Mac and Athens Genesis. Those are engines I'm getting in October. No doubt about it. Two of those are coming to this layout. For sure. But anyway, yeah, you'll get to see the length of the train. It's pretty big. And it's more than what Let's say, a Broadway Limited could probably compare to this, but I wanted to tell you guys one thing. That NTH engine does not have any traction tires. This thing is ridiculous at pulling, because it's all metal construction. It's struggling a little bit due to the fact of the hill it's on, and also it's at the base. It doesn't like this cur curve, and we might have stalled. Yeah, that's it. But yeah, this thing is like ridiculous at pulling. Yeah, there's the engine behind my TV stand. Ow. Yeah, look at this. It hits the straightaway and it's like, oh, hi, I'm just pulling basically nothing behind it. Look at this. No wheel slip at all. Now, for anybody, any Pentium fans out there, I highly recommend this model. Obviously, if you want, you can replace it with other system than the proprietary DCS system. Track work is not flawless, I'm still working on it. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Uh, I redid main two with cork. So anyway, yeah, this thing is just ridiculous at pulling. Some of these cars have low to coal loads. Like... Like this. These coal loads make this car these cars heavy. And this guy, right now, man, this guy is pulling it like nothing. I mean, he's pulling it like it's butter. At least at a slow speed. I get this thing up to like speed set 55, and this thing struggle, doesn't struggle at all.
Now for a top speed, this thing is not... I've already gone in here and screwed with the decoder settings, so there is no max voltage or min voltage. This thing is set up just how it is. This thing, not made, not really fast, but awesome at pulling. So if you want to use this K4s for heavy trains and heavy freights, perfect. Fast ones, I go with the Bachman K4. That thing goes faster than this, trust me. Oh yeah, here we go. See, it struggles on this curve due to the fact that so long, but as soon as it hits the straightaway back here, it's like, oh yeah, that was nothing. Now see, it's picked up the speed. This is a highly recommended item for any Pensy lovers out there. Even just any steam lovers in general needs to get one of these models. Awesome at pulling, sound, and quality. Diecast body. You can't get that a lot anymore in the HO scale industry. The only other manufacturer I can think of that makes metal bodies is possibly Broadway Limited, but that's I don't I have never seen a Broadway Limited K4 before. I've never I haven't watched one a review on one. I don't know what they are, metal bodies. Tell me in the comment section below. But this is amazing. Now, the only challenge is is probably finding one. This is a PS2 model, so I don't know if they ever did a PS3 version of it. But, if there is not, another highly recommended model is the Broadway Limited K4. Because I know those things are amazing in detail, because, again, it's Broadway Limited. Yeah, look at this. This guy's like, oh yeah, this is nothing. Love it. Wish I can have it. But sadly, it's not mine, so I'm just doing a review on it. Hopefully tomorrow night you'll be guys getting a look at the... Lakeshore Rail, uh, Model Railroaders Association. Finally said it right. <laughs> so, we're going to watch this train go by one last time, and that'll be the end of this review. Mm, this is the corner where it struggles a little bit. There we go. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this review of the NTHK4 with TCS Wild Sound installed. If you are new to the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. And until we, till the next adventure, as always, happy railroading.